Okay, Sagittarius, what do we have for you? The first card we have is pro projections. This is in the position of what you're thinking about. So a lot of you guys are uh, doing some, some deep thinking here this month of September. Some of you guys might be thinking about how you... Um, how your projection is with, with uh, people around you, somebody you're dealing with specifically. Um, but there is some kind of projection here, which means this is a card of, you're either seeing how you, you're either watching, being aware of how you uh, react or how you act when you're around this person or other people as well. Um, you're seeing kind of like, how they react, how you react to each other. As far as, you know, it's all about, we bring, um, people we bring people into our lives that are similar to us. Um, so we can learn from one another. Um, so it could be about that. It could be about somebody in your life that you're really coming in contact with and you're really being forced to, to, um, see each other, uh, but see, it's like, you're a mirror, right? We're a mirror for each other. Um, another person is the mirror mirror of us. So if we're in a relationship or dealing with somebody else and we don't like the way they're dealing, we have to stop and, and, and look at ourselves and say, why is this bothering me? How they're reacting or how is this involving me? Um, so there's something to be learned is basically what's going on here. So my, so a lot of you guys might be thinking about how you how you react with somebody and uh, your interactions together and what you're learning out of it, what you've learned from it. Maybe the next card we have is the creator and the creator is um, it looks like there's a need for you to think this month, to use your mind, to connect to your higher self, because this card here is all about needing to connect to your higher self. So you can really see uh, another person, not maybe through the image that you're perceiving them as, but who they are as a person, not necessarily who you think they are or who you think they should be, for instance. Um, there's a need for you guys to act this month in a way where you can connect to your higher self to really be grounded and so and to create your own inner strength within yourself and your identity. The next card we have is turning in. Yes, you, you are definitely needing to turn in this month and do meditation for sure. So the advice is definitely do meditations because when you do, you will get the answers. You're going to get a lot of information this month. Um, a lot of signs are getting that where there's a lot of um, intuition, um, ability to tap in for this month to your higher self, to, through meditation, through your, um, through, you know, however you meditate to really get the answers from within. And we also have the moon card, and this is all about needing to get the answers from within yourself, your own inner um, being of who you are, your light, you're looking for your path, you're looking for the answers. So there's a 100% need for you guys to really ground yourself this month, um, take, take some time on walks, whatever it is that you, if you're near parks, beaches, um, you know, you know, any kind of nature trails, anywhere where you can just get out and just uh, walk and be by yourself. So you can kind of connect back to yourself and get the answers that you may need. And the outcome is Thunderbolt. So there might be some kind of sudden drastic change that when I say drastic, I just mean like something so sudden that it, it makes you stop for a minute um, and say, wow, what happened just now? So there is a need to, to get some answers. There is a need for change. Um, it could have to do with another person and the way you act around other people. There might be some sudden change that comes in for you this month that really, um, it might, sh you know, it might shock you or it might be uncomfortable, but it is necessary to get this out, to get the clarity that you need to get some kind of change going in your life. That's very spiritual and significant and that's needed right now. All right. You could also be dealing with a cancer um, a, a person that's a cancer. Um, but there is definitely a need for you to do some meditation so you can um, get the clarity that you need. A lot of you are going to be getting the clarity you need, and that's going to cause some change as well. So the main card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. My gosh, you know, this is the fourth sign that has gotten this. Virgo got it. Pisces got it. 
Libra got it, Scorpio got it, and now you, Sagittarius, got this card. Um, this is a card of, um, this is a great card, okay? <laughs> it's about getting and receiving an unexpected offer of money, gift coming to you out of nowhere. You didn't expect this. So you guys are going to be getting some kind of uh, unexpected gift, a chunk of money, a small amount of money, a couple thousand dollars maybe, or, you know, a larger sum of money or smaller, but whatever that is, it, it actually could actually also help you, um, start something of long stability of law, uh, uh, you know, great value in the future as well. But there is definitely some kind of gift coming, unexpected money coming your way. The next card we have is the eight. Yeah. The eight of pentacles. So this is in what's your challenge this month or what's possibly, uh, crossing you. And this is a card about working, doing your job very well, very successfully making money, Focusing on work, work, work. Maybe you may be very, very busy at work. Um, maybe this is some bonus you're getting out of the, you did not expect the bonus. Maybe you're getting a, a promotion. Um, maybe you're getting um, an annual bonus that you didn't even know you were going to get. Uh, maybe you're getting a raise. That's it. You're getting a raise at work, a very large raise. Um, you guys are working and working and working at work. Maybe you guys haven't been feeling very, um, Maybe you haven't been feeling as though you've been getting paid what you're worth. Maybe you're feeling like you're working too much and you have, maybe the work is, is bringing you money, but it's not, maybe it's not making you happy. Well, this is going to make you happy. You're going to get, you're going to, you are going to get some kind of benefit here from all this hard work that you're doing. Um, some of you guys are just working too much and maybe you need some time to meditate and just take some time for yourself. The next card we have is what's in your recent past and your recent past. We have the Knight of wands. So this is another, this could be you Sagittarius, um, in the recent past, you could have had zero passion. Uh, maybe you haven't been very passionate about wanting to move forward in something at work or, um, move forward in something that's passionate. Maybe you're just too busy working. Like I said, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of passion at work. Maybe it's just, it's not that you don't have passion. Maybe it's just, you know, becoming a lot of, you're spending a lot of time doing it and maybe you're needing some passion in your life or something stopping if it's not you, it's another, um, fire sign. It could be a Leo as well. It could be an Aries. Um, it could be neither, but there's some kind of like neat. No, somebody did not want to take move forward in, in, in something and they didn't really have the passion for it. Um, therefore they, they, they really weren't really taking the time to do anything about it. This also could be you moving, going back and forth, back and forth, um, between a relationship or a job or some kind of back and forth movement here. What's coming in for you this month of September is the nine of, of wands. And this is somebody who's really done a good job. They've uh, been working a lot. They've been working on themselves. They've been working at work on work, maybe going through a lot of challenges and um, maybe it hasn't been the easiest time for you or whoever this person is, that's coming in. Um, this person, you, you know, if this is you, you might be, you might be feeling a little bit cornered um, and guarded like, Oh my gosh, you know, um, Maybe uh, you're worried something's going to go down, but this is somebody who's achieved a lot and there's no need to be worried. You've achieved and you've earned everything you, you know, you've earned everything that you've worked for and um, you should be proud of it and not have to really worry. But somebody says a little bit concerned. The next card we have is the emperor. The emperor is here and this is in the position of what you should be focusing on and your advice and your advice is to be the emperor of your life, be the leader. Um, if it's not you, Sagittarius, it's get this, uh, accept the assistance from this emperor. Cause it looks like somebody's coming in. This person is usually the leader of the, you know, if this is work, this is like the owner or the CEO. Like this is somebody high in the company president. Um, this person is very knowledgeable. They're older, they're wise. They know what they're doing. They know, they know how to be successful and achieve things. They're great people to get advice from. And they're usually bosses and business owners. And they're telling you to focus on this because this could be you Sagittarius. You could be the one becoming the emperor this month of September. And this gift or this raise or this job increase may be coming from this person and you may be, uh, getting this increase. So keep focusing on becoming this leader, becoming this the ruler of your life, um, because something's coming in. Something is definitely coming in. 
And in the position of what it is that you're uh, striving for this month and working towards, it looks like you want to make a clear cut decision about something that's very emotional to you. Um, there's a decision that you need to make and it's emotional to you and you don't want to be confused and you don't want to have too many, you know, maybe you have too many options around you or decisions to make and you're just confused or cloudy about which one to do because your emotions are not really telling you what you should be doing with this person possibly or this work situation. Um, you know, this doesn't always have to be a job. This can be a relationship that you're working on as well. Um, but it does need, I, again, there's some major decision that's very emotional to you that needs to be made. And you might be, obviously you don't have the answer at this moment. You don't know which, which decision to make. And therefore it is very important for you guys, like I said, to be patient with yourself and to allow yourself to, um, be the creator of your own life. Make it, you know, you're, you have all that you need within yourself. You have, you have, you are the creator within yourself. It's just a matter of you just allowing yourself to meditate and go within. And the next card we have, wow, is the Ace of Swords. There it is, guys. You got the clarity. Dun, 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 dun. You guys have it. Um, all this indecision and need for clarity is right here. Ace of Swords. This new opportunity or surprise that's coming your way is going to finally give you that clarity that you are seeking. You're going to be able to have clarity so strong that you're not going to have a problem making a decision and you are going to be able to make any decision you need this month. That's beautiful. Also, this card has to do with cutting things out of your life, clarity, communication. So if you're waiting for communication, you're going to get it. Um, it's all here for you. The next card we have is people around you. Maybe people in your environment, at work, home, relationship. This is the king of pentacles. It could be a king or queen. And it could be an earth sign. It could be a, a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus that you're dealing with. It's an older person, more mature person. And this person is financially unstable right now. They're not feeling financially or even emotionally secure in their situation. So you definitely have somebody around you that uh, you might be dealing with this month. The next card we have is the Page of Swords. And this is in the position of what you're hoping for and fearing. And this is usually like a younger energy. Uh, it could be an air sign. It could be an Aries. It could be a Libra. This is somebody who's um, communicating. They're coming in to bring some uh, information to you. Okay. It could come off a little bit weird because they're it, weird as in they could be coming in and giving you some uh, verbal communication, but because they're younger, they may be communicating it to you in a way where it's not maybe coming through clearly, or you maybe not understand, you maybe not be, un be able to understand them very well. But this person is coming in with some truth and clarity. And I think this is what you're going to get. It's going to give you this little miniature uh, message that's coming in is probably going to give you the clarity you need. The bigger picture is what I'm saying. The end result, the outcome of your card is the chariot in reverse. So you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer person in your life that does not want to move forward. That's not ready to move forward. This also could be you, Sagittarius. You could be un not wanting to move forward or not. It's not that you're not ready to move forward. It's just that you feel that you're unready to move forward and take action, um, or have the confidence. This is somebody who doesn't have a lot of confidence because they don't feel ready, right? They don't feel balanced. Like the time is right. So there could be some kind of postponement in regards to, uh, taking action and moving forward in the recent past, there was some kind of lack of passion and ability to really, um, move forward in something, or it was like, really, it was unstable. There was this unstable energy. So somebody wasn't really, somebody was going back and forth with something. Okay. And this could have something to do with it. Um, there's some kind of postponement and moving forward. So what's happening here, Sagittarius is the thunderbolt is here. There is something that's possibly going to be suddenly coming in that is going to rock your world and change things up a little bit. It could even be the sudden money coming in. Um, surprise, you're getting a raise. Surprise, you're getting um, 
some money here. You're going to be promoted. You might be feeling, oh my gosh, am I ready? Am I ready to take this job? It's happening too fast. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So some of you guys could be feeling that energy of you may not be feeling ready to be promoted or to accept this. For those of you that this is a job, you may not be feeling ready to take this commitment or to move forward. Um, but you will be receiving something and it's going to be great. So um, you will get the answers, you guys, in order to move forward. All right. So let's pull the next card we have. We have the three of swords in reverse. Okay. So there was something in your past that was a disappointment to maybe you felt stabbed in the back. Maybe you felt heartbroken. Maybe you, you know, opened your feelings up to somebody or something and it turned out they, it wasn't, it wasn't reciprocated or somebody stabbed you in the back. You know, they weren't, they weren't on your side, but it looks like you, that was your past. And it looks like you're coming out of a time where you did feel heartbroken about something or deceived about something. It's like, you're, you're, it's like, this is the month that you're healing from that. Once you heal from that, you're going to become this emperor. You're going to be back in control of your, your, this is the month you're becoming the emperor. Okay. Whatever was heartbroken into you, whatever broke your heart or whatever disappointed you in your past, you're healing from it this month. And the card is telling you, don't let it affect you right now is to move, move forward, move forward into taking this, you know, whatever this advice is, whatever this job offer is, or whatever this offer is, or this, this person can really help you out. Or you becoming the emperor, continue to become the emperor. You guys, I really want to know what this is for you. Have a great month. I'm going to pull another card. One of these Oracle cards for you. Yeah, you guys, this is a really good reading. Um, Thanks so much for watching and sharing. For those of you that, that are that are regulars and you're coming back, I want to thank you guys so much for coming back. And for my new people, for new people, hello, welcome. Please comment and like uh, like the video if it resonated with you, and leave a comment if if you know if this. Let me know how it, how it's you know resonates with you or how it affected you. If it doesn't affect you know resonate with you now, you can watch it later on in the month as well. What is the final message for Sagittarius? Number 41, bring it into form. Wow, this talks about new ideas, you guys. Yeah, there's something new coming in for you, brand new. Um, this card is about that. It's about bringing brand new, something brand new in. So it, this card is number, like I said, number 41. And I'm going to read you a little bit from the book here. Um... Sorry, you guys, it's taking a while. It says, beautiful dreamer, you can imagine wonderful worlds of light. You can dream up so many possibilities. Now it is time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to be more than ideas. They need to live to manifest. The world needs not only your dreams, beautiful as they are, but also your creations. Get thee to thy desk, thy ease, thy computer. Work, beautiful dreamer. Don't just dream. Create. You are being asked to honor yourself with a commitment to complete your inspired tasks. This will help you grow. And that is a wonderful reason to commit. But there is another reason to. You know that your inspired ideas are worth translating into practical forms so that others can access them and experience, experience something special also. All right, you guys, it's time for you. This could be an also, uh, it really does have to do with finances, but because this is a general reading, it could actually also have to do with um, a new idea, uh, definitely a new idea, but I really see this for most of you as a money or a job offer. Um, but it's time for you guys. So the ones of whoever's, afraid or not afraid, but whoever, whoever is not ready to move forward, this card is telling you to start doing it. You're going to get the clarity you need this month. 
And once you get that clarity, you guys, don't be, uh, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. It's saying don't hesitate. It's saying it, bring it and bring your right, beautiful. This is also a card of clarity, which means also you could be getting an amazing insight, an amazing awareness, an amazing um, idea. This is all about a new ideas as well. So it's time for you to, um, you know, if you are being postponed for your own reasons, once you get this clarity and this offer, take off, guys. Don't hesitate. Go for it. Go for it.